Boys for 40 years, families have been coming here to the lakefront, many of them camping out for spots most recently with U.S. Bank over their shoulder as a sponsor. But if they don't find a new sponsor soon, they won't have anyone to foot the bill. It's one of the largest fireworks shows celebrating Independence Day in the Midwest. Thanks, a Milwaukee tradition that might just disappear. If they didn't have the Milwaukee fireworks on the 3rd of July, you know, how would you feel about that? I feel like that'd be pretty sad just because like a lot of people come around and like get their camp up. Like you'll see days before people are like camping out and stuff like that. I'm devastated because, oh my God, I just love it. Every year, it's the biggest, it's the best, and it would be really a shame if we didn't have it anymore. That's exactly what might happen if the Parks Department doesn't find a sponsor by April 1st. For decades, U.S. Bank paid for the show, but they announced 2018 would be their final year. The Parks Department says they've gone to multiple organizations and companies around town and haven't had any takers. Part of the problem likely being how expensive the show is. The fireworks and the barges, the permits and all the staff time and everything that goes into it is probably around $350,000. They're hoping to convince someone within the next month marketing exposure from sponsoring this large of an event would be worth every penny. Well, Caroline, perhaps there's strength in numbers. Does it have to be one sponsor or can it be several? Joyce, it can be any number of sponsors, really. In fact, it might be better if they have multiple sponsors this time around. So if someone does bow out, it won't put the entire show in jeopardy.